Pokemon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies shattered. And yet, for the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. Carax of the Kalai, you were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers. But now, you stand as a warrior. Today, it is clear that the Age of Casts has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. ship subsystem. You can review it in the solar core now. <laughs> Such hubris to think that they could control what they did not understand. Oh, it's always hubris with the Terrans. Get too close to a black hole and it will crush you. We once thought the same of the Taldarim, Alarak. We believed you mindless and obedient slaves. And we thought you were weak, impure, and unworthy. And yet now we stand together. Perhaps we acted too rashly with Mobius Core. There may have been a different way. Oh, Templar, is there ever a moment when your people do not doubt themselves? No, Artanis. Extermination was the only course. The hybrid leave nothing to save. Our scouts are reporting that Dominion is attempting to fight back the Golden Armada. Despite their efforts, multiple systems have fallen. Capital ships have docked within the Spear of Adun. They await your preference. Amon wishes to hide, while his brethren, the Zelnaga, slumbered through the millennia. Amon and his followers descended upon Ire. And he uplifted our people. They ruled over us as teachers, as gods. He changed us, manipulated our essence. But we grew beyond his control. He and his followers fled to Zaris to create the Zerg. The hybrid by the culmination of his efforts. False Selmaga, created in his image. They... we must... Rohana, this is too dangerous. You cannot go on like this. I must, Hierarch. It is my duty to know the truth, to bear it. I know now, this is my purpose. The purifiers are impressed with your leadership. They clamor to strike at the heart of Iman. Friend Phoenix, they are impressed equally with yours. Yes, they have chosen to follow my command. Leadership is new for me, as is everything else. I had not intended to become Hierarch. I questioned the decision. There had to be someone more worthy. Do not fall into the same mental traps I did, my friend. The purifiers follow you for a reason, as the Dalam now follow me. Self-doubt will only cloud your decision-making. You speak truth, Hierarch. You speak as a leader. The deeds of a Templar suit you, Kerax. For the entirety of my life, 
I have given myself to the art of creation. My war has been one of design. A battle against obstacles that hinder optimization. I am a face smith, and will always be my first calling. But, as times change, those who were not born true Templar can become so through their deeds. Then ready yourself, Templar. You will be needed. Scar has fallen, and through its death, the Templar have been born anew. But the matter of the Taldarim still concerns me. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. swiftly. Rakshir, usurpation by ritual combat cannot be rushed. Its rights demand careful preparations if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me. And in return, I will remove the Taldarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. I wish to know more about this Rakshir. Your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood. Any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so. But he has yet to face me. The Golden Armada has devastated the Sector, Artanis. I know we cannot engage them directly, but this must not continue. There are things I understand about the Taldarim. Their zeal, their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies, aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending the cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. Right. I've been analyzing the Taldarim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kali designs. Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? 
There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. In order to invoke the challenge of Rakshir, preparations must be completed, as the decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. If it must be done. Wait, what is that strange fog? Tarazine. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. I thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazin flows, we must endure the onslaught. Terrazine will rise shortly, my warriors. Be vigilant. Void rays can now be warped in at our Stargate. They are ideal for intercepting foes in the battle ahead. Well done, Faze Smith. We will make good use of them. This world in the void is lifting. Amon's forces will arrive soon. I walk the
to the day long. The guardians stand watch over the shrines. Kill them slowly and painfully. My people will fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. Aldarine motherships in this region. They are carrying shipments of solarite. I don't think Alarak would mind if we liberated them. It shall be done. Construct additional pylons. shall persevere. destroyed a Taldarine mothership. Excellent. Only one remains.
Parazine fumes are gone. Continue your hunt, Artanas. Ships are heading towards our Nexus Hierarch. Bring them down! A new beginning.
Ready your warriors. You should have everything now, Faye Smith. Thank you, Hierarch. I shudder to think of what they were planning to do with it. You must construct additional pylons. <laughs> You have not enough minerals. Malash, of course. Our pylon is under attack. Our pylon is under attack. The Tarazine fumes are gone. Continue your hunt, Artanas. ships have set a course for our nexus. Our 
the right of Rakshir. Fight me according to our laws, or die a coward. We meet in combat at daybreak. You shall have your chance. 